Welcome. All right, so um, in this video, what I want to do is show you how to add and subtract rational expressions. And you know, when we're adding and subtract rational expressions, what that pretty much is talking, telling us is how we're going to add and subtract our rational expression that we're going to contain polynomials. Not so much as fun with fractions. We liked adding fractions probably now. You could say you know, 1 fourth plus uh, 3 fourths. And then you say, oh, well, the denominators are the same. So you say, well, that equals 4 fourths, which is equal to 1. On the occasion, sometimes we'd have um, sometimes we'd have an occasion where our fractions didn't have the same denominator. So in that case, what we had to do was um, simply find the common denominator, which in this case, my LCD equals 15. So then I'd multiply this side by 5 over 5, keeping my fractions equivalent by multiplying on the numerator and denominator. And then you could say 10 over 15 plus 9 over 15 equals 19 over 15. And I say, well, all right, that's fractions. I understand fractions, but not the rational expressions. Well, I, I want to go over it with fractions to, to kind of remind you of it's really the exact same thing, except now we're just dealing with polynomials. Um, and remember, when we're adding and subtracting polynomials, we can only subtract the polynomials that have the same variable factors, or a lot of times what we call combining like terms. So for instance, uh, let's look at an example here. Let's say I have you know, 3x squared over, let's say, 2x, or let's do this. Let's do 2y divided by 3x squared plus 5 plus y squared divided by 3x squared. Now, since these have the same denominator, I can combine them. But when I look at my numerators, I notice that that is a 5, which is a number. This is a y, which has a variable factor of y to the first power. And this has a variable factor of y to the second power. So therefore, they don't have the same variable factors. So therefore, my final answer would just be y squared plus 2y plus 5 divided by 3x squared. Now, the next thing you want to do is after you've combined them, um, after you combine them, is always to look and see you know, how can you simplify them um, any further that would kind of help you uh, simplify the solution. Um, or a lot of times, you know, we also look into if it's possible to try to simplify even before you might add or subtract them. Um, so let's go and look at one, you know, at least one more that's going to have a, a binomial to it, or a monomial that you can go and do when we have uh, not, the, not the same denominators. So let's go and look at, uh, um, let's go and talk about x plus 1 minus. 2 over x plus 2. Again, I'm just, I'm, again, I'm just making up um, really a problem for us to be able to work on. And, but I want to show you exactly what we're going to do in this case. Now, you know, again, as I mentioned, as you're combining these, you're going to want to go and simplify at the end. But before we can even combine these, unlike this expression, we don't have any common terms. So to do that, I need to determine my LCD. In this case, my LCD is going to be x plus 1 times x plus 2. So therefore, I need to multiply to get both denominators to have that LCD. So I'll multiply by x plus 2 over x plus 2. And here, I'll multiply by x plus 1 times x plus 1. All right. So now, what I can do is now my common denominators, I can simplify these. But I can also simplify my numerators by applying distributive property. So applying distributive property, applying FOIL, those are going to be a lot of things that you're going to be applying, and especially factoring. Um, when doing these rational expressions. So therefore, I'll have 5x plus 2 minus 2x uh, plus 2. Now, I can apply the distributive property here and rewrite this as a negative 2x and minus 2. I like to do that when I'm simplifying this, because what that helps me do is just say, all right, well, now I can combine my like terms and say, all right, that's 5x minus 2x. And that's 2 minus 2, which is 0. So my final answer is 3x divided by x plus 2 times x plus 1. All right. So when we're going to be adding and subtracting, combining rational expressions, you're always going to want to look to get your denominators to be exactly the same, and then to simplify the numerators, and then simplify the whole expression as a whole. Thanks.